Hello Bacon, in December I took you with me through the amazing Prime Advance calendar with all of those sewing gadgets. I bet now you and I are very curious too. Now if things are really worth it or not. So let's find out. Well, while you're watching this, I am in Brazil visiting family and friends. So this will be a very short, calm video compared to my standards. These are all the things we got in the calendar. Oh, this is my favorite one. I really, really love it. It's so tiny and so cute. I'm totally keeping this for sure. This is so cute. This is so adorable. I love it. I love it so much. I am in love with this. I'm keeping it. Keeping. Keep. And this pretty thing. A point inside out turner thingy. I already have one. So it's a keep. Definitely. It's very cute. But since I already have one, I'm gonna put this in the sewing kit. I'm gifting one of you bacons. Check out the 10,000 Q&A video for more. Keep. Right, there is no reason not to keep sewing machine needles, right? <laughs> also got the chalk pen. It's an ergonomic chalk pen with chalk powder. Another load. I really like this. I really like the chalk pen and everything. It came with a load of white and a load of yellow. But one of you already told me to be careful with this one because yellow chalk doesn't generally come off easily from ah from the fabric. I already lost the tip. Seriously? Seriously. <laughs> Too old for this. <laughs> Safety pins and flathead pins, always a keep. You can never have enough pins. <laughs> Well, I was very confused about the seats, to be honest, but one of you think God came to my rescue to tell me that the tray it came in. What is happening? It's a seed tray, so you're supposed to plant it and use it as a seed for your beautiful sunflowers to be in order to reduce waste, which is very interesting. I was still confused though. You decide. All oh, this laundry, so I have no idea if it's good or not. Never used it, and I don't, and I don't think I'm going to change from the thing that I use generally, so this will be floating here until I decide what to do with it. You decide. We also got some needles, some generic sewing needles. Let's put them in our pretty needle holder. <laughs> and then we have this needle holder that is very cute, but I was already informed that this rubbery coating will be tacky after a few months of use, so I'm not looking forward to that. This is a very cautious key. So you turn it, Ooh, look at that. There is a magnet there so the needles don't fall out. And I really enjoy this. <laughs> we have the Snag Wizard, which is a very weird and interesting needle that I was enlightened of the use. And it's supposed to pull threads to the other side when you have like a snag thread, like a pull thread. A cat attacked you. So your clothes are beautiful again. Let's try it out. Let's pull a thread out. Let's assassinate this fabric. I broke the thread. <laughs> This is the situation you have where the thread is poking out. It's a very thin fabric, so I don't know if this is going to help or not. But this, turn the thread around it. Or... Uh, kind of work, but not really. Now the thread is on the other side. Let's try with something more dramatic. Because I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I want to pull a thread without destroying the fabric. It is also very short. I don't know if this will go. Insert it here. Ooh! Oh my god, it really works. I needed two passes because the thread was really short, but it really, really works. This is a keep! A surprising keep! Put it in the needle holder, because I will lose it! I just have so much fun doing this. It's an empty lipstick case. <laughs> this video was kindly sponsored by my Patreon. <laughs> I was also very excited about. It is a magnetic cat to put on the sewing machine to, to store your pins. I'm skeptical about the sucking thingy. My machine has a weird texture on it and I don't think this will stick. Yeah, it's not going to attach to the industrial one. Go. Definitely needs to be yeah. a plastic sewing machine. So keep-ish. Oh, it just fell down. I'm sorry, it's cute but yeet. 
Jean. Some metal plates for embellishing anything you made. Written handmade. They're metal. I don't know what to do with those, so I will yeet it. I have no use for them. Jean. And I also got three types of sewing thread. Red, silver and copper. First I thought this was gold, but it was due to the lighting in my living room. It is definitely copper. They're pretty. <laughs> Oh, this gauge. I really, really enjoy gauges. I think they make some of the jobs of marking hems or seam allowances very easy. But it's a plastic thin thingy. Not as small as my own. I will so lose this. So lose this. <laughs> a seam reaper. So cute. And then you open and this. So it's bigger. It's so cool. I love it. I really like tiny stuff. I will lose it. I think everybody does. But it's cute. I'm keeping it. This fancy thing here. It's a measuring tape with a snap so it doesn't roll away on you. And I saw someone doing something on TikTok that I need to show you. You have it here. Clamp this. Hold this in place and then you can use it as a compass and it's interesting. <laughs> I don't think if it's going to be very stable, but hey, this might be a hack that works. <laughs> I was very excited by this one because it's a very tiny roller cutter that you can take with you in your purse or something but I was already informed you are not able to change the blades so that is a yeet! Fancy needle threader with lights! It's like the older ones that came in sewing kits. It will work and I find really interesting that it has an LED. And also there is a hole here so you can thread it not to lose it. <laughs> Also got a few of these clips. I don't know if these are a keep or not for me. They are curved on both sides. And the other ones I have are curved only on the top. Though I don't know how this will affect stability. As I said, it's not something I use that much. I prefer normal glass head pins. I'll keep you informed if it is a keep or a keep. You decide. The thimble, a little bit too snag for my thumb, especially the left one where I broke it several times, is okay. And it is too big for all my other fingers. I don't like it. I'm not gonna keep it because I prefer ring symbols. They ring tim 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 and the ring doohickey. Because these, you can change the size to fit your finger better. I really love this. Yeah. Hemming tape. Fusible hemming tape, which is an obvious keep. I love this so much. I will never stop using hemming tape ever again. It is the perfect thing for quick solutions. Yeah. This was the grand prize. A tiny, pretty in pink fabric shears. They actually are pretty sharp. This is a definite keep. <laughs> I paid 60 bucks for the calendar on Amazon with a discount because the real price is 80 bucks. What's the verdict? Did we get our money's worth? I calculated the total of the things that I got to be 159 euro based on prices from Amazon. And I'm keeping around 115 bucks worth of stuff and the rest is yeeting. So I think the value of the things is totally fine because even if you pay for the whole price of 80 bucks, you still get almost double in goodies inside. That's a good return for your money, right? And there weren't many things that for me did make sense or so. Just maybe they're trying to get rid of some of the items. That's why they put it in the calendar, like the cat thing, because the cat thing does just doesn't want to stay in the machine. Other than that, it was a fun experience. I always have a lot of fun opening advent calendars because I like little surprises and I, wow, to have 24 little surprises every day. It's something very exciting. <gasps> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then check the one I chose just for you down there because I think you're going to like it as well. Ta-ta!